He died repeatedly top lane. This is a, not a decent comeback. Or it is a decent comeback, to say the least. Dendi farming some ancients of his own, getting closer and closer to a BKB. Navi trying to hang on here. Puppy farming in the jungle. He's picked up a mech as well. Oh, Navi are ice, getting ice, some ice. items, but it's bottom lane where Kurogi manages to throw one back. Ice 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 joins the fray. They'll push this wave in. X Freedom lurking in the trees. He's going to Quelling Blade his way through. Do Zenith ever just play Dodo? They're always playing this clowny, not straight up game. It That's like be, a net play right there. It must be infuriating for their opponents. The pain's coming out uh, from Zenith. There's, he's saying, let me Quelling Blade through. I'm going to backstab Overgrowth them. Zenith, the circus is really in town for these guys today. It's every little tactic. Stealing bottles, quilling blading their way through trees, and he's gonna make his go now. He's got a couple more trees to eat. He's almost completed his path, but the fight happens while he's waiting to get in there from the backside. He eats that last tree. He's got the overgrowth available. He walks in, but it doesn't matter. Kuroki's been blown up. Puppy gets caught, latched in position. XY drops him low. He should be taking a fall. Maybe not yet. Actually stunned. Test of faith to the face and Puppy's gonna live. Stops microing for a second in the acid spray. Ice 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 Surge is in. Is he running or is he fighting? It's hard to say. The dagger follows him. He's gonna TP out. There's a Dendi stun. He'll get caught out. He should fall. He ran all the way around the world. He got cornered like a caged animal and he got brought down. And I have no idea how it happened, but Zenith actually lost that fight. No game. overgrowth. He spent all that time quelling me around, but did not actually use that overgrowth. Sometimes you're a clown, and sometimes you're a mad genius, and this time X Freedom. I'm a bit also of a surprised clown. that Slark didn't loses uses BKB too. So I think they had like a oh, you're right. very he very good initiate at the start, but I mean he's like trying to dive into the tower against like a couple of stunners and like Spectre B on him without without Dark Pact or BKB up. I mean both. That's a little bit strange, but I think Zenith still has like pretty good control of this game considering the gold difference. But I mean, it was going up and up and up until the last fight. There, there's definitely this element uh, to Zenith of just being show-offs. And I mean, Na Navi's guilty of that too, where they just want to make big plays. They want to impress the fans. And sometimes it might come at the cost of the safest, most stable way to try and pull ahead and win the game. Mid lane, Yamate will jump in, chops off Kuroki's head. That was an execution if I've ever seen one. And with the BKB, can just find those kills. Oh, by the way, has a Reaver, not far off of a heart. Does he have a Vitality Booster on the Courier? Not yet, but it's going to be around a 23, 24 minute heart, maybe a little bit later. Ridiculous farm for this out, but can they convert it into full map control and just a positional advantage? So far, Zenith, they've had a big lead, but they have started to slow down in terms of accumulating additional advantage. I'm starting, um, I mean, they have Slark, but they're not playing super aggressively with him, like with Living Armor, like I expected them to, like we've seen some teams do with And Weaver. again, X Freedom again. He's going to oh, tank Quelling Blade through. So sneaky. They now latch in. They catch a boast. He's trying to run away, but the latch holds him in place. Well done with the Pouncer. And this time, the Quelling Blade really pans out. Overgrowth for Spectre Kill. Great little trade. Yamate channeling stun. He's got BKB. He'll lob it in mid. Is he really going to dive Dendi? No, uh, sorry, no BKB. It was pulling down and back off but they get a tier two that's really the big thing for zenith they need to take down these outer towers and establish some better map control yep they need to get roshan too and also, dendy uh, has his big ab also havos died with like 36 3700 gold he is going sacred relic and that just got delayed by a good minute or two yeah and now the jump in mid Ooh. xy is gonna leave whiffs it and kuroki should be able to escape yep he has vacuum too very very important spell for him to have i'll be just trying to keep the lane pushed out mid Oh, he has a heart completed. Completed heart. Uh, I guess he had the recipe on the ground or something. Now it's another 500 gold. They'll surge back in. Do Navi really want to take this fight? It's going to be very dicey, I feel. Funnick on the run. XY giving chase. He's still got his BKB. He hasn't popped it yet. He leaps in. He grabs Puppy. That is not where Puppy wants to be. Now the BKB comes out. He'll take a spill. XY can leap away in just a second or so. Spectre's haunted in, but Havost haunts in and runs away. Throws out a feudal dagger, but XY should be able to live. In the end, they only get the... The Chen, but they're not done yet. Yamate drops the stun. Now comes the ice path. Macro Pyre could be there, but got backed away. Stolen by Kurogi. Now the overgrowth is there, and that should hold them in position. That should be enough to get the kill. Surge on Yamate. Two more slices, and Dendi should fall, but he pops the bottle charges. He's able to live. They're only actually killing supports. It feels like it could be so much worse for Navi, but this is the big problem, Merlini. They just lost the tier two. Yeah, and they were busy on the right side chasing the Slark. It looked like you were busy catching the fight on mid, but I was keeping my eyes on the Slark. The uh, Havost as well as Funnik were both trying to catch the Slark, and he just barely escaped with probably 50 HP while he was TPing. I thought he was for sure gone there, but he was so far away, and you can just spam the leap but, uh, the pounce, but I guess it was closer than I expected, so... Oh, good for Zenith that he got away in the end. Observer Ward deployed in the lane. X Freedom 
these Southeast Asian supports are just so freaking annoying for their opponents. I mean, these cheeky little pickups like the Quelling Blade, the Ninja Tactics in the Treants. It's guerrilla warfare for Zenith supports, and it's proving to be a huge nuisance for Nabi. So where does Zenith go from here, Merlini? They've taken the Tier 2s bottom and mid. What's the next objective? Well... Oh, hold on after... Yeah. Uh, okay, well... Yeah, should be okay. Sark actually has a Basher right now. He is tired of this Furion just, like, just doing whatever he wants. He has a Shadow Blade now, so if um, XY picks up a Dust, I think he can, he's in a pretty good position to, like, kind of lock Furion's, like, farming uh, area down for the rest of the game, which is, which is going to be really, really important. But, um, I don't know, they have, like, some sort of strange interaction with, like, Slark and... Spectre. Spectre can like dagger Slark so he can't use his ultimate for the most part if they have uh, Revelation but like Slark can like pounce him so that he can't actually like dagger into the tree so both heroes can like kind of kill each other but in terms of raw late game power Zenith has like by far the huge edge especially with um, the recent heart and looks like uh, Hyperstone pickup onto the Alchemist and they, they've got enough map control so that they can finally take Roshan. This is a very very big set especially Considering that they're radius, so I think they just need like one big item, an alchemist, maybe finish an AC, and then they need to break the base because Spectre is just going to be scary, especially with his radiance build. You need to like try and like finish him off while they're still a little bit weak it's, before he gets the mantle, before the he gets his heart. Time bomb. Ice. Oh no, yeah. XY's on the hunt now. He's going to find Puppy in the jungle. He can leap and kill him off with ease. He'll do it now. The pounce is in. And with one bash, Puppy should fall. Doesn't get the bash yet. Still chasing. He's saying, where's my there bash? There's his bash. And Puppy's probably going to fall. Puppy, unable to survive. Really close. But now XY caught under the tower. He may have overextended here. Mech comes in for my size size. Pops the BKB. But in the end, they don't accomplish a whole lot. Puppy is dying, but while well, they're forced... They're, they're trying to kill Rubik. They're using a lot can to Can he get a bash? It. Oh, in the tree line, able to blink, able to TP out in the end. You mentioned Zenith are, have a really scary late game. The other thing is, their late game comes, like, now. Right. I mean, <laughs> at least for the Alchemist. Alchemist is huge. Like, let's look at it. This is 35-minute right farm, at least. He has like, double, over double Spectre's net worth. And while that's happening, XY, you mentioned he can hunt the Prophet. Completely missed that one, but has Dust. There's Probably got a bash, finds the kill. And now top lane. Four heroes grouped up. They may back off, but Zenith have really boxed Navi in at this point. They lead by 11k gold. They're up by, well, actually, even in terms of experience, uh, although a lot of that is probably concentrating the Prophet, the Spectre, but uh, Navi have no outer towers, and it gets hard for them to farm now. With a Slark on the map, even the Prophet isn't really safe. Right, they have DK, they have Chen, and they have Nature's Prophet, but they've only taken out one T1 tower, and I think Zenith has done a fantastic job of just, like, countering their pushes at like every stage of the game so like early game they had living armor as well as a very from alchemist you could just spam acid spray as well as ice path so they did that to uh try and defend towers they had dark here on top iron shell to keep pushing out the lane and then now later game they have slark there in place with a basher with dust to try and just prevent any sort of split push that nature's prophet can put out and i haven't really felt the presence of oh, nature's really? prophet at all Ooh, Yamate, are you serious face. lift it up he has his ult available and the bkb will He'll use it now. He pops the BKB. He pops the chemical range, but he's fighting under the tower. If he dies, he's going to come back in regular ALK form with no BKB. Yamate, that was oh just an boy. awful engage, and now they're going to lose the Twin-Headed Dragon as well. They do kill off Havos, but Yamate Sprout, I, even if they can't kill him again, he's going to do a whole lot less damage to this tower. Able to get away. They killed Spectre, they though. They did kill Spectre. They, in the end, Havost, <laughs> Havost said, if you're going to be a man, I am too. Yeah, the, I mean, Challenge <laughs> accepted. <laughs> They're so right vulnerable the at this team. point now. Like, Navi has this, like, very weak Spectre. When you just have Radius, Phase, and Drums, you're so weak. Once you get your Manta or your Heart, then you can actually start doing a lot of damage. But at this point, like, it's very hard for him to find some sort of farm because you really want to be able to abuse your jungle, abuse, like the split push capabilities while the four of your other players play very aggressively but I mean after Denny got set back with that bottle mid after the early pu uh, pushes thwarted ooh puppy might die in middle or top lane here just the fact that he there's even a chance he might die there when he's in the shadow of his tier 3 is right pretty bad mm -hmm. I mean it I feel like XY has been the like the main reason Zenith is doing so well this game Ice 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 was dying top yes Yamate got free farm but Navi have been forced to devote so much to deal with him. Now Funic, he's trying to find farm in the enemy jungle. He goes into Shadow Blade, but the Ice Path is there and narrowly misses him, TPing away. Sentry is dropped. No overgrowth. Could have just wow. clipped him. Yeah, from I thought he was going to. 
Oof. But in the end, I, in the end, you can start channeling it again and maybe wouldn't have been able to get the kill. Yeah, but I think the Zenith has just been doing a great job at responding to Navi's. They tried to sh shut Spectre's farm down early. We already talked about how they like responded to the pushes. And now, again, they're like containing them, shutting down the farm, killing their Spectre, like pushing away the Furion from the towers as well as the jungle. And I mean, they're, they're, they're just playing phenomenally at this point. We've been talking pretty much all day about Alchemist's farm, because how can you not? It's been absurd. There's but the AC. End of the day, there's also going to be an Abyssal Blade very soon on Slark. 150 gold away. Could sell a bottle and have it now. And uh, He's using Denny's bottle currently. He's very, very close. There might be an engagement in the enemy jungle, though. X Freedom on the low ground. Puppy farming. He doesn't know what he's walking into. This could be bad. There's an Overgrowth available. Leech Seed as well. They won't go. Instead, they say, let's just kill the Rex. They all saw Caress up, as mentioned. Kuroki, he's managed to steal Acid Spray. That'll help slow down this push. They lift him up, they throw him back, they stun him. He's maybe lost less than a fifth of his HP, and he's still working on the rack. He'll heal back up in a hurry. There's also a Blink Dagger on Ice Ice Ice. He picked that up very recently, delayed his Scythe device for better initiation on this five-man mid. No Abyssal Blade. XY is 50 gold away. I feel maybe just sell the teleport scroll and go for it, but how committed is Zenith to this push? We're about to find out. Chemical Rage will end. It's coming back soon. Funic working on that tier one. It'll be Navi's second tower of the game if they can finally get it. Oh, Instead, they're keeping back. The teleport parade to that lane, and Funic will Shadow Blade away. Mission oh, accomplished. Oh, look for at him. that gold for. Oh my goodness, this is Alchemist. So sick. 22,370 net worth. And that is. I mean, he's like two and a half times the space. His CS right isn't now. even that ridiculous. 260 at 31 minutes is not that crazy. But leap in. Catch out Kuroki. XY will. Now Ice jumps in. He vacuums back Denny into an Ice Pad, into an Overgrowth. Even if he BKBs, he's probably going to drop here. He won't even bother. He'll go down. And they caught Puppy as well. Blown up in the Macro Pyre. Triple kill for XY. He has been out of his mind this game. 8 1 and 4. Navi getting absolutely steamrolled this game. Slam to the deck, really. And Yamate, he'll push in bottom lane. He'll go back mid. They're looking to take a lane of Rex. This might be it. Yeah, I mean, very cool use of Slark by Zenith. I haven't really seen him too successful in the solo mid roll, but, I mean, they're, they're just doing everything that they need to do. Like, Slark just running around, killing everybody while Alchemist secures his farm. I mean, this game is... Uh, you really get, close to being you just can't stress enough how much it hurt Dendi to lose his bottle. Mm -hmm. Being forced to buy a second bottle really screws you. And also, he couldn't bottle Crow during that time. He wasn't able to push the lane as much. And he really started to fall behind. DK is much more reliant on his nuke than the Slark, who can just auto-attack, rely on Essence Shift. And you mentioned it also lowers the DK's in, so it hurts him that way as well. Has less monitor spam nukes. I won't say it cost them the game, but it really opened things up a lot for Zenith. And the other thing was that Navi just could not really find that early tower push. I mean, they got the tier one top. That's great, but they tried to push bottom and Acid Spray just completely yeah. shut them down. I mean, that, I think that was just very smart by him. Leveling up the Acid Spray just completely nullified that early game push, and they can just constantly push out their lane. Sure, they got another T1 tower, but two T1 towers in 32 minutes when you have a Chen, a Furion, and a DK, as well as a Spectre, it's, it's just not where you want to be. And for Navi, well... There's double smoke up on Jakiro. They'll be very worried if they leave the space. They don't know it, of course, but it just shows you Zenith. They realize they're one big fight away from taking this game. Abyssal Blade is up on XY and a casual ultimate orb as well. Probably we'll see the Eye of Skatey. That item is so good on Slark, but whatever he wants, XY can farm towards it right now. I mean, look at this tree. He has Blink Dagger, Medallion, and Ghost Scepter. X Freedom is such a As well as his Quelling Blade. He needs that Quelling Blade so he can do the sneaky roots. Pinoy Pride, if there are any Pinoy viewers watching, X Freedom is half Pinoy and very proud of it. And well, he's he's doing right by the Pinoy fans. What item today. does Alchemist have now? Oh, he has a Manta style. I like this. This is a great choice. Navi don't have that much AoE, and certainly not enough to do with Manta Alk illusions with ACR there, as well as the heart. I mean, these illusions are going to be tanky as hell. Over 3k HP uh, for those, and great. It's a, just a great item to siege the base. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the now they'll go. X Y jumps in. B K B is there. The leap did not connect, but he's still giving chase. He wants another pounce. He abyssals Dendi. They make back back in. This could be the end for Navi in game one. Dendi caught. Puppy caught. Everybody caught. Kuroki. He's managed to steal Overgrowth. He walks forward. He does get it off, but Yamate doesn't even care. 3,800 HP. 21 armor. They've lost one. They may lose two. The backline heroes are dying, but the real question is, can they kill Yamate? Can they kill XY? They'll get XY, and now Yamate will self-stun. They're killing off everybody except for the Alk, who's at full HP, has not been scratched. 
Is he just going to go back in and start hitting the racks with- He's got creeps in the base. Yamate says, please, by all means, chase my Darkseer. I'm going to try and racks you. That was a great defense from Navi, though. And Oh, they're actually chasing Ice Ice Ice. They canceled their TPs here, it looks like, and Yamate finds a kill. Kuroki left to his own devices, gets absolutely Where is his team at? Uh, well, I think Dendi TP'd and then canceled it. The Spectre will TP back now, but... Yamate just take the, <laughs> takes the racks 1v3. Yeah, I mean, I Silly think it might have been canceled by the vacuum, so good job by Ice 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 there, uh, like, allowing the Alchemist to take out this tower. Wow, Havos is trying to man He's up on in. the Alchemist. Yamate's just taking the Good rack. luck. This Alchemist is worth 29,000 gold. It might be... It's, like, not quite what Navi's entire team is worth, but it's almost as much as the three cores. He stuns Havos. He brings him down. It really is the slap chopper Alchemist in action. Pops Manta. Looks to run. The dagger will still follow him. He works on the range racks. I think he figures I'm probably going to die here. GG from Navi. He's still not dropping. He's still not dying. They're all jumping in, but they might just end up... They'll finally kill him at long last, but they've called GG. It was mega creeps while this happened. The other lanes pushed in. My goodness. Woo, what a circus of a game. Yeah, indeed. I mean, Spectre is Seriously. hot, but not that hot. Yeah. I mean, she got Radiance, but after that, her form just like slowed down tremendously just because of the constant pressure out by Zenith. I think that Radiance is better suited for like super long farming games, such as the <laughs> game we saw earlier, but... Yeah, I'm just watching Yamate solo kill Spectre with just a Manta and a single stun. Normally, Spectre is supposed to be tanky. Yeah, not, not this game. But I mean, they had a second pick, and... They just had a lot of good solutions to it. They like haunted in the middle of fight. He like overgrowth everybody. Again, the Slark pounce to keep him leashed. They had like they they just seemed like just to be able to deal with him very well. Not worthy of a second pick, in my opinion. Yeah, really fantastic performance here though mm. from from Zenith in game one, and they take another much needed win for themselves. Uh, I I'm actually not sure what their record in the groups is now, but Navi continues to struggle now. I mean, there's a lot of factors here at play for Navi. They literally just got to Shanghai. They're probably jet lagged. They played a bunch of best of threes before they travel, not to make any excuses for them, but they may not be quite on their A game just yet. That's loser talk, LD. <laughs> LDZ. He's, everything I say in Merlin, he's like, that's loser talk, LD. That's only some of it. It's like, I'm, dude, I need to sleep. <laughs> that's loser talk. <laughs> dude, I'm hungry. That that's loser talk. But regardless, but yeah. uh, strong performance out of Zenith right there. Let's see what our uh, analysts have to say. Some game there. Um, I think uh, the story is a very farmed carry. Which one was it? Oh yeah, the alchemist. Uh, what was that? A ten, mi thirteen minute BKB battle fury. Is that what it was? I, I know he had like a ten minute BK or uh, battle fury treads, and, and then I was, was like yeah, yeah, and then I was like, okay, well, <laughs> the game is pretty much from here. It's gonna decline, and it started at the top lane mm -hmm. when Ice 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 was actually he did die twice, but at the same time you have to realize that every time Havas dived him, he wasn't getting farmed. And on top of that, um, the lane was being pushed like yeah. slowly and steadily, and Ice 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 was able to actually like get, uh, gain levels out of that, whereas Funic wasn't having as good of a time. And so I think if you die, but you're getting three or four levels out of it every time, it's always going to be worth it, especially if you're denying the carry farm by proxy because he's diving you. Yeah, and when a hero like Spectre goes for a phase into a drum, it's not as much of an accelerant build, whereas the Alchemist maxed out his Grievous Greed first, and then he went and maxed out Acid Spray, which is probably the most highest farming potential uh, build that you can get. And he got a Battle Fury, so he just went all of these farm items, and once he hit the BKB, he basically stopped everything that Navi could do. They could jump on him and they could do a bunch of right click, but who cares? He, he even went a really late armor item. I believe he went um, Battle Fairy into BKB and then he had like a heart and then he got a Hyper Stone. Yeah. I mean, he just completely skipped the plate mail, so he was not worried at all about the physical damage output. Once he had the magic community, he knew that there was very little chance that he could die. So the team fight just went really, really well for Alchemist. And since Spectre was behind on farm, he really hard countered the hero. I mean, magic community stops the Radiance. It stops uh, Desolate, I believe, and the Dispersion as well. So, like, it's just so good. And the minus armor will reduce his tankiness, and he could just right-click down the Spectre, and it never really became a threat. And he just got so much farm on the hero. And, like, Navi did a great job trying to fight it out. Um, another thing we can talk about is, of course, losing the bottle. I just felt bad for him. Um, but I think despite that, he did a pretty good job on the mid lane. I mean, losing 600 gold in the early game is, is huge. That's like dying two or three times. Yeah, and also, the Slark getting that... I mean, it's not just the fact that you lost the bottle, but the Slark got a free bottle on top of that, which it actually didn't help him too much. Yeah. But on other heroes, it might have made a bigger difference. Like, imagine if, um, I don't know, like, like a mag or something. Yeah, it's the bottle. It's like shockwave but all day. Just the fact that Dendi had to go back, or not, he had to, uh, to refarm up 
another bottle, and yeah. it came slower, right? Because he had to, um, he didn't have the mana to sp uh, spam breathe fire, mm -hmm. and then that delays your treads, and then that delays your movement in general, and that actually delays like your pushing, mm -hmm. and just the fact that he lost that. I mean, it's he actually did quite well though, despite that. Yeah, like he was actually, I think he was um, fourth in net worth actually. So despite the fact that he lost that. He did an admirable job trying to come back, but it was almost like too too big to handle at that point. Yeah, there's usually, there's usually not that many mobile heroes on the mid lane, so it's a little scary sometimes. I personally don't like putting the bottle on the ground, but I know it does save you a little bit of time, and sometimes that can translate to last hits. So, unfortunately for Den, he takes a little bit too much of a gamble there, loses the bottle. But I, even still, regardless of the bottle loss, I think the the alchemist just pretty much farmed perfectly, and he countered a lot of what Navi wanted to do. So. Navi's going to drop for game one. I believe that's going to put Zenith at, I think, 2-3 and three in the group and puts Navi at 0-3. Oh if we can take a look at the group standings, we can see how this is going to affect things. We may not have right. them ready. I'm sorry. No. I put them on the spot. <laughs> I just assumed that everything was great. All right, so Navi's going to go to 0-3. Oh Zenith is going to go for 2-3 and three as a result of that match. In a second, we'll have game two of Navi versus Zenith. Um, anything else you'd like to add? No, I just... No uh, shoutouts? No, no weird sayings? Hi, EGM and Bulldog, if you're watching. <laughs> that was okay, I guess. I guess. I don't know. That was know. the worst, that was no, the was worst, worst. shout-out. No, Let's see. Signs. Last time, last I time would, I, I would be mad that you shouted me out if I that's had, the quality of shout-out you I had get. gang signs. I did Tupac for life. Um, I said Ugu. I said Kawaii Ugu. I've been, I've, for people that are, like, really confused when I say random stuff, people, like, instead of asking for shout-outs now, they try to get me to say, like, progressively weirder stuff. Well, well, that was... It's You're not certainly delivering there. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to take a quick break before the game start, and yep. we'll get into Zenith versus Navi game two. So we'll be right back with that, guys.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for game two of Zenith versus Navi. It's a real treat. It's a taste of the International Three. I'm LD. I'm joined by Merlini here at Beyond the Summit. I do want to make a quick plug. If you haven't already heard, there's an $8 ticket uh, for the Dota TV Pass available. The audio quality is not always the best uh, if you're trying to listen to our voices inside the game, but you can still get these players' amazing first-person perspectives and support the organizers, support the tournament, support Alienware, MasterCard, as well as DPM Interactive, the organizer, the brains behind the whole operation. With that being said, Merlini, it's time for game two. Let's do it. And Navi has gotten a wisp. LD said GG when it happened. <laughs> GG go I turned to Merlini, I said GG, let's yeah. go next. There is no next. It's a best of two group stage format. But hey. EO is a champion. She uh, received quite a few nerfs. I think like a lot of the bug fixes made uh, Wisp less powerful. But, I mean, that hero is still incredibly strong in the right hands. And we've seen Navi use it time and time again. Although not in the past few months. Because that hero is pretty much just like straight up auto ban. We've seen, I, th I think uh, earlier today, Tongfu ban Wisp both games. Zenith ban Wisp in the Zenith first game. The Eastern teams are generally just banning Wisp first. These Western Dota teams. Uh, we saw yeah. first the Alliance. When Wisp it's hard to play against if you're not used to playing against it. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to play against even if you are. I mean, yeah. Wisp has like a 63% win rate or something, which is the average hero probably is like 50-ish or so. Mm -hmm. It's pretty freaking good. Yeah, I mean, the hero is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I, then, the, then again, they do have to first pick it, so Zenith can kind of game plan around it. Yeah, it's good, though. I mean, it's, it guarantees a lot of action, usually, Yeah, for the most part. And we see Alchemist, so Zenith just going with Wisp going with what works. Farming Alchemist last game just completely dominated Navi. That was that was just a that, beat. That down. was brutal. <laughs> was I mean, he probably had more net worth than almost their whole team combined at, like near the end of the game. That they were like getting nuggies, you know, <laughs> having like their heads put in the rough. toilet and then Zenith was flushing it. It was painful to watch. But for Navi fans, the good news is Nuggies? Even swirlies. Swirlies, yeah. Swir what, you, you call them Nuggies? Well, no, Nuggies and Swirlies. Oh, nuggies and Swirlies, yeah. okay. I would just it was the full torture dose. Seems like you know a lot about that. Yeah, I was giving a few in high school. No, I didn't actually. Uh, as for Navi, well, what do they go for now? If you don't pick a Wisp combo here, here. Uh, I mean, there's so many things you can combo with, with Wisp, although most teams do prefer Wisp CK. I think there's like, you can do Wisp Sven, Wisp Tiny. Uh, I think someone ran Wisp Venge, I heard. Yeah, LGD was doing that. Mm -hmm. They'll go Puck. Zenith. Oh, and a strong instant solo CK mid. man. <laughs> a strong solo Navi's mid for Dendi. And I know a lot of people have said, uh, I think a few pros have said, well, you know, you don't have to get CK. And right. You've mentioned that there's other good combo heroes, but CK is generally and widely considered it's the, the, the e best. It's like the easiest thing to do it yeah. with, I say. It's just like the reality rift into a, a chaos bolt is just like insanely easy to pull off. And Zenith, they'll remove the easy option. They'll make Navi work for this one a bit. And We'll see what Navi looks to ban out. Zenith haven't really tipped their hands too much. They went for the Alk, but Zenith is a team that's very versatile. That's one of their big strengths, is all their players can do so many different things. Ice Ice Ice, he's played solo mid for a long time at the International 2. We saw his solo mid invoker. He plays off lane now. X Freedom can even play a mean tinker, although he's normally the four position. So we could see an XY solo mid Alk. We could see an offensive tri lane Alk uh, with Yamate playing it. We could see a safe lane farmer. Uh, the world is still Zenith's oyster. They haven't really tipped their hands here. Yeah, and Zenith, like, I think one of the main reasons why they won last game was just because their offlane was so strong with Darkseer and Shree, and Darkseer's banned, banned out, so they, like, kind of won that lane, even though, like, Ice 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 died twice, and he they lost.